collusion and corruption story tonight. The judge in the Paul Manafort case is dealing a serious blow to the Robert Mueller investigation. Manafort is on trial for money laundering and a litany of other charges. Judge T.S. Ellis said about the prosecution by the Mueller team, and I quote here, Given the investigation's focus on President Trump's campaign, even a blind person can see that the true target of the special counsel's investigation is President Trump, not the defendant, and that the defendant's prosecution is part of that larger plan. Well, Ellis is right. I haven't seen many on the right defend Manafort's shady behavior, and that's fine. But it is clear that Mueller's prosecution is part of a larger effort by those on the left to find any dirt in order to try to take down President Trump. With me now, retired U.S. Navy intelligence officer and member of the Trump 2020 Advisory Board, Stephen Rogers. Stephen, good to see you. Oh, pleasure to be here. Thank you. All right, Stephen, uh, Judge Ellis goes on to say that the charges against the defendant are intended to induce the defendant to cooperate with the special counsel by providing evidence against the president or other members of the campaign, although these kinds of high-pressure prosecutorial tactics are neither uncommon nor illegal, they are distasteful. What do you make of this? The judge nailed it. Look, this is the longest fishing expedition in American history. First of all, to uh, investigate a crime, there's a process. And you know what the process is? There has to be a crime committed. And then you bring people in and interview them. The president of the United States has committed no crime. There's been no collusion. He's done nothing wrong. So when the judge made that statement, he was absolutely correct. Robert Mueller is on a fishing expedition. That's why people are upset and concerned about, will there be a manufactured outcome? I hope not, but if there is, we're gonna have a lot of problems in this country. Right, well, that's why I think, too, the polls have changed about uh, what the American people, not just Republicans, not just Trump supporters, but what the American people as a whole think of Robert Mueller personally and what the, whether they think his investigation has been conducted in a fair way. A few months ago, the majority of people thought Robert Mueller was cool, thought his investigation was fair, and now it's flipped. They do not think it was handled fairly, and they don't think highly of him. But I, I, I think you're, the point that you make uh, is quite astute when you say, well, there has to be a crime for an investigation uh, to, con to continue, to continue doing what Mueller's doing. There'd have to be evidence of a crime, but I don't think that was his intention from the beginning. We have no evidence of a crime, which leads us back to, I think what a lot of people are saying, this was never about a crime. This was a tactic intended to take Trump down by uh, looking into, I guess, possible obstruction charges. Any little thing the president could say that Robert Mueller's team could refer to Congress for impeachment. Doesn't all the evidence point in the direction? What you just said, look, that investigation was compromised from the day that people from the FBI and other areas were assigned to Mueller's team. What did we find? We found people on the Mueller's team investigating the president who had close ties to the Clinton Foundation with regard to donations. There were close political ties. There was some sort of a relationship between a member of that team and someone from the media. So the evidence is very clear that there may have been crimes committed and although we haven't proven this, but this is something that has to be looked into. There may have been crimes committed by people on his team. At the very worst, at the very least, it was compromised from the beginning. And you're right. The judge is right. This is all about trying to bring President Trump down. Nothing to do with what they would like us to believe is happening. Right, and even these, even these individuals associated with President Trump who have been indicted, who have been charged, none of it has anything to do with collusion with the Russians in order to meddle in our election. I mean, we hear that from Democrats all the time. They say, well, why, if the Mueller investigation is a witch hunt, why have they indicted so many people close to Trump? But they're ignoring the content of the indictments. The content of the indictments has nothing to do with collusion. Mike Flynn, nothing to do with collusion. Rick Gates, nothing to do with collusion. Paul Manafort, nothing to do with collusion. Judge Ellis says this too, Stephen. He says that uh, Robert Mueller's under public pressure to charge the Trump campaign. He says, if a special counsel discovers no criminal activity, then the investigation is likely to be perceived as a waste of time and resources. And thus, a special counsel has a strong incentive to find criminality and to prosecute criminal conduct, conduct by the people he has been charged with investigating. Here, persons connected with the Trump campaign. I mean, this, this guy is right on the money. Look, think about this. Not one person questioned, indicted, or otherwise has done anything to suggest that the president was involved in illegal or even unethical activity. That's number one. The other thing is, you know, we've heard, well, who's going to flip and this person's going to, nobody's going to flip because there's nothing to flip on. 
There is absolutely no evidence that President Trump was involved in anything illegal. And that's what's bothering the Mueller team. And we go back to square one. They, they, they're in a real tough situation and they're either going to have to end this thing now or they're just going to continue to move on and Congress is going to have to step in and put an end to this. Right. And I guess we'll see what happens. I mean, they say that these type of investigations typically take two years. Well, the clock is ticking. It's not really, uh, I think, to use the judge's term, it's neither uncommon nor illegal to drag it out to a midterm year. But it's certainly unethical to try to make this impact uh, an election when the purpose, their stated purpose of this investigation is to s investigate whether or not there was meddling in the last election. A little counterintuitive. Stephen, I so appreciate you being on the show. Thanks for being here. All right, guys, we've got a good one for you next.